welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a Vietnamese uh, pho. It's uh, spelled as P-H-O uh, and it's pronounced as uh, pho. So it's uh, basically it's a Vietnamese uh, 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 noodle soup. So the main ingredients for this is uh, you have to boil the uh, to make the soup. So to make the soup you use beef, uh, usually beef bones. Uh, ox tail and uh, the best meat to use for this is the uh, the beef shank since the beef shanks has already have the uh, the bones in there so you need the bone to make uh, the broth really uh, delicious so what I have here is a uh, five beef shank each one is about a pound I believe so I already have a, a, a pot of boiling water already here So the water boiling, need to uh, put the beef shank in there. So just cook it for about, uh, I would say about 2-3 minutes. And then uh, dump out the water and clean all the, the uh, impurity out. That's the first thing. The reason you do that is to uh, get rid of the uh, impurity. Alright, after about 3 minutes, uh, just dump out the water, look at all the Look at now just uh with cold water just wash it really good to get rid of all impurity and make your broth a little clear when you cook this. Okay. Now clean your pot. Look at all that uh, impurity getting out of here. That's the reason why you do that first. So clean the pot really good and now. Uh, Alright, uh, now we're ready to make the soup. So put another fresh water in, in the pot. I put about halfway. So this is a very big pot, but I have here it's about, I say about five pounds of beef right here. So I'm cooking for five people, so I'm gonna put the the water about halfway to a uh, half. Okay, that's it. And then uh, put it on the, the stove. So just put the meat back in. All right, put the lid on and uh, bring it to a boiler. So in the, in the meantime, prepare the add ingredient to put in the soup. You need one stick of cinnamon. Uh, one piece of ginger and then uh, one big uh, onion and a couple of this uh, star anise. This is a star anise right here. So uh, just use a couple of this, maybe three, the most don't use too much. Uh, it just to give it that fragrant uh, smell. See, you can smell it really fragrant. What I do with the onion, where I would uh, peel the outer layer out a little bit. All right. With the ginger, I slice it in half. And I put the onion right on top of it. Same thing with the ginger. So the reason you want to uh, Put uh, the ginger, the uh, onions, and the cinnamon on the uh, burner right here just to char them a little bit. Uh, so it bring out more flavor when you put uh, them in the soup. So, right here. It doesn't take long, look at it. It's already burning already for the cinnamon. Keep an eye on it and put too long. That's good enough. For the onion, you might need a little more. Just char all around. This one is done. Flip to the other side. That's what you want, kind of a... Alright. The onion keep flipping around. Just keep flipping around until every... Alright, this one's done. 
the changer is done okay I think the onion is done too all right next thing you do you want to wash this a little bit to get rid of that uh, burn mark just wash it okay onion cinnamon stick ginger three cloves of star anise put the lid back on and bring it to a boil all right the uh, water is boiling now you see all the scum that uh, coming to the the top you got to skim that off you could have, you should buy yourself a strainer like this right here, a small one like this from uh, Asian store, and just uh, skim off all this uh, impurity right there. You don't want that. You want your soup to be clear, so you skim all that off. And now you can reduce your heat. Uh, so reduce the uh, the uh, heat to medium. Just reduce to medium and skim all this off. Look at how, look at all the impurity, uh, that's uh, nasty. So you gotta skim all that off. The next ingredient you put in there is uh, palm sugar. You can, all, you can always find uh, palm sugar in the Asian store. So if you don't have palm sugar, just use the regular sugar. I could put a teaspoon like this. Palm sugar is like very sweet maybe a another half teaspoon so about teaspoon uh, I mean a tablespoon and a half so that's palm sugar put a little bit of salt one tablespoon of salt for now and uh, you can put it later on uh, because remember you're gonna reduce the uh, the broth a little bit they're gonna be uh, uh, on low heat for about you have to simmer this in a low heat for about two to three hours to make the broth taste really good. Put the lid back on and let it simmer for two to three hours. So in the meantime, let, uh, let's cut up the vegetable that's going to go into uh, the uh, fire soup. I have here uh, sawtooth coriander. You can buy this from Asian store. The sawtooth coriander. It's it's pretty flavorful when you put in fur. It's see on the edge right there, it's got a little sharpness right there. The sawtooth coriander. I'll fold in half like this and just uh, chop it up to small pieces like this. The next vegetable is the, uh, the green onion. So it would add a lot of flavor when you assemble all the uh, when you assemble the fur dish. You you put all this in. The next vegetable we have here is the uh, the cilantro. Cilantro right here. I'll fold in half like this and just I and now you have lime you cut them to vices just cut into vices like this all right that's the lime the other main uh, the other vegetable that you would put into the fowl soup is the uh, bean sprout. You can buy that in Asian store too, bean sprout. Yeah, remember to wash all your vegetables. I already washed them already, so. 
Also go into the soup is the uh, hoisin sauce. You gotta have hoisin sauce. And fish sauce right here. So fish sauce, this is the best brand right here. It's a three cr uh, crabs, uh, three crabs uh, brand. Well, and now just wait for the fur uh, soup to get cooked. So we're gonna serve, I already told you, simmer that for about two to three hours. So uh, once in a while I just open up the uh, lid and then just uh, continue to skim off the uh, impurity. So there's a lot of fat right here, just skim it off. You want your broth really clear. You want the soup to be really clear, so keep doing that. See all the scum around the rim right here? So the uh, the best thing to do is just take just take a piece of napkin this paper, just go around like this and skim it off right here. See it's coming out. Look at that. Yeah, those are the impurity uh, you don't want in your soup. Look at that. Okay, now put the lid back on. And let it sit more some more. Okay, after about almost uh, three hours of cooking now, and uh, now it's done. Need to do is get rid of all this, uh, the vegetables already did its purpose, you get rid of it, no need anymore. So, ginger, to get rid of the ginger. And uh, star anise is over here too, but uh, it's okay. All right, and uh, final thing is to taste it and see if you need any, uh, if you need any more salt or something like that. Uh, yeah, you need a little bit. Uh, so the last thing is. Uh, Put some fish sauce. That's the last thing. Do not put the uh, before because fish sauce is going to be really smelly. So the last thing is put the uh, I say about two three tablespoons of fish sauce. This is going to add more flavor to the soup. If you don't like fish sauce, it's okay. Uh, just use a uh, salt. But fish sauce is an acquiring taste. So. Okay, that's good. It's all good. Now, the last step is to cook the noodle. This is the kind of noodle that uh, is called Oriental Style Noodle. Uh, it's for Ben Pho. So you can buy this at the Vietnamese store. And uh, see, make pho right here. So. This thing costs about 10 bucks. You can pick one from a Asian store, Oriental store. So you got a pot of boy, uh, water boiling and just, uh, I just put, uh, no need to put a lot, just put uh, a portion like this. Maybe two of this portion. That's it. And uh, I shouldn't take long to cook it out. All right, it's done and says, Use a strainer and just uh, yeah. time to put together the uh, the fur. So put a little bit of noodle, depend on how much noodle you want.
All right, that's it. Uh, the panel, how much noodle you want? And okay, we got some uh, raw meat there uh, here, raw beef. So you can put raw beef on the top because the broth, the uh, the fowl soup will cook the the beef anyway. So slide it thin like this and just put a few on the top. Just put a few slices on the top, and this is the. Uh, and then this is the meatball you can buy from the uh, from Asian store. Uh, it's already cooked already. All you need to do is just uh, thaw it out and then uh, that's it. So the meatball right here, this is the meatball. What what kind of meat is this? Like beef? It's beef. Yeah. Beef tendon. See here. Yeah, beef beef meatball right here. So put one or two of that in. Beef chicken with beef tendon. Oh, meat chicken. Yeah, just put two of that or whatever you want and then See the broth will cook the, the beef, the raw beef, so Alright, and then uh, What you do is just uh, This beef right here, the uh, beef shank, just take a piece of it Oh, right there, cilantro, so this is what you put, cilantro, a little bit on the top, green onion, sawtooth coriander, Ooh. yummy. Bean sprout? That's option if you don't like yeah, it. Yeah, optional if you don't like it. But this is how you uh, would. Uh, and then. That's optional too. Optional too. Squeeze a little bit of lime on the top. And the last thing is uh, poison sauce. Poison sauce, just uh, squeeze a little bit of that on the top. You can uh, optional too, you like spicy. Uh, hot uh, sriracha, hot uh, chili sauce, sriracha sauce. Okay, you want to just put a little bit of uh, fish sauce in there. That's the last thing if you want to. You don't have to. This is optional. But you taste it first. Yeah, taste it. And uh, that's look yummy. So this is it. Uh, this is my. Uh, that's how I make uh, Vietnamese pho. Taste it. Taste it. All right. So you mix this all together now. Just mix everything together and give a taste. Mm. Oh. It's very good. Ah, it's good. I'll try a little beef right here. Yeah, the, the raw beef is already cooked. Mmm. The beef shank right here. So it's all the tender already. Been, so it's been cooked about three hours. It's been very tender. Falling apart. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. We just uh, thaw it out and then uh, that's it. So the meatball right here, this is the meatball. What what kind of meat is this? Like beef? It's beef. Yeah. Beef tendon. See here. Yeah, beef beef meatball right here. So put one or two of that cool. in. Beef.